There is this new trend. I don't know why young people are apparently incredibly stupid. There's a new trend of people who are who are destroying products that are on the shelves at supermarkets simply out of pure nihilism. It feels like soft core clockwork orange, basically. And people just running around and doing things to hurt other people for no discernible purpose. One of these videos was making the rounds on Twitter yesterday, a young fellow who was apparently opening up an Arizona iced tea, spitting in it, it's disgusting, and then closing it back up and putting it back on the shelf and smiling about it. What a, what a delightful, delightful human being. I can only hope that that person is captured and then goes to jail. There's an article over at the New York Times today by a person named Ferris Stockman. It says, a man licked a carton of ice cream for a viral internet challenge. Now he's in jail. It says, it started with a video of a teenage girl licking a carton of Blue Bell ice cream in a store and then putting it back on the shelf. The video, which went viral under the hashtag Ice Cream Challenge, grossed out a nation and struck fear in the hearts of ice cream lovers everywhere. In fact, actually, I saw a picture yesterday of a of a freezer that had been locked up, like you would lock up razors at a, at a grocery store. They'd been locked up with a sign saying that you needed help to open the freezer because of this idiocy. Now the authorities and store owners across the country are wrestling with how to stop a series of copycat videos made by people committing the same crime. Investigators in East Texas, where the first video originated, tracked down the girl, but turned the case over to the Texas Juvenile Justice Department because she's a minor. Then, on Saturday, the police in Louisiana arrested a man who posted a video on Facebook of himself licking a carton of ice cream in a supermarket, even though he produced a receipt showing he actually purchased the ice cream afterward. Lanise Lloyd Martin III, a 36-year-old unemployed man, has been in jail ever since. Lonnie Cavalier, a spokesman for the sheriff's office in Assumption Parish, said Mr. Martin appeared surprised to be arrested. Mr. Cavalier said he didn't feel like he had done anything wrong. His explanation was, all I wanted to do was be famous, and I paid for the ice cream. But Martin was charged with criminal mischief for tampering with a product before he had purchased it and with unlawful posting of criminal activity for notoriety and publicity. It is indeed criminal activity to make it appear as though you are stealing somebody's product and then buy the product. There is one thing, like I'll be in the supermarket with my kids and my kids want to open something and I know I'm about to buy it. So I just hand it to my kids and they eat it. I don't take it and put it back on the shelf, put it on video and then go and buy it to create the perception that my kids have defaced product at a store, which can help drive down business at the store. Martin will spend at least four nights in jail awaiting his bail hearing, as he should. In Louisiana, the authorities have 72 hours to bring suspects before a judge, but because of the July 4th holiday, the clock didn't start ticking until Monday. Franz Borgard, a defense lawyer, said the authorities appeared to be trying to make an example out of Mr. Martin in an effort to put a stop to the flurry of ice cream licking incidents. This is a highly aggressive arrest based on a seldom used statute that is constitutionally questionable, said Mr. Borgard. He said that the charges were questionable because it was unclear whether Martin had committed a crime. He said it criminalizes speech. Okay, it is not speech to lick ice cream and put it back on the shelf and tape it. That is not speech. That is not a form of protected speech under the First Amendment to the Constitution. My God, people. But there is something deeper going on. And it is in that quote. It is in that quote. That quote is that this person wanted to be famous. All I wanted to do was be famous and I paid for the ice cream. If all you want to do in life is be famous and you don't care whether it's for doing something stupid or doing something notorious, then you will earn fame and you should earn ignominity. But there is a there's a soullessness to people who are doing this kind of stuff. Now, is this supremely prevalent? No, it's not. It's not. But the fact that this stuff is being imitated at all, that there are copycatters who are out there doing this sort of stuff should be disturbing to anyone. And it shouldn't be laughed off as well, you know, this is just something young people do. It's stupid. First of all, it's actually dangerous, right? I don't know what kind of diseases people have when they're putting their mouths in other people's food and then putting it back on the shelf. And it's dangerous for businesses because now you've created the perception that any package of ice cream that I open may in fact be defaced. But beyond that, what is going on in the heads of people who are so concerned about fame that they forget about a basic duty? If you want to live in a society with others, you have to have a common framework of responsibility. And that doesn't have to be crammed down by government. It has to be voluntarily undertaken by people who care about each other enough that they don't go around licking ice cream and putting it back on the shelves. So I understand this is a deep read on what is obviously a stupid juvenile prank. But there is a seething, uh, a roiling feeling that you owe nothing to anybody in your society unless the government orders you to do it. And that's very dangerous because then the government becomes the be all end all, number one. And number two, it makes you a worse person. Because the stuff that makes you a better person is exercising your free will, exercising your free choice to help others and live in a society where you are doing good for somebody else 
as opposed to trying to get famous and be notorious for doing something, anything. 